Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing part 11 for my Q&A video answer segment videos leading up to The Walking Dead Season 6. Okay, so yeah, part 11, wanted to go ahead and make a video for you guys. Uh, sorry about this week, just haven't really been able to get a lot of videos out there for you guys. My apologies, was not my intention, just been absolutely crushed with work, swamped with work, and so tired after my shifts that I can't really, you know, I don't really have any extra energy to make videos for you guys. Uh, plus, in addition to that, it's, it's always hard to come up with, with concepts this time of the year for Walking Dead videos, and I do like to make them, and I want to make them and I want to hang out with you guys and talk about this stuff um, but I need more things to talk about more uh, video ideas and topics so continue to send me your questions continue to send me any articles you guys see online or anything like that um, you know so that we can go ahead and review it or you know any video suggestions top 10 list top 5 whatever and I'll try to make them once I can uh, of course this is Avengers week coming up so we're going to make a bunch of videos for the Avengers uh, 2 Age of Ultron because it's a huge movie obviously and uh, hopefully we'll get some new news for The Walking Dead soon this one was from 17 days ago I actually didn't see it uh, this was sent to me by uh, Rohan B. Puri so thank you Rohan and he says Trevor have you seen this article Rick and Morgan are apparently going to be the spine of season six. Love to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, so for sure, man, thank you for sending it to me. So this was uh, speaking to uh, Deadline, uh, Gail Ann Hurd, uh, executive uh, producer of the uh, the show. She's been the show for a really long time now. I think since pretty much, yeah, the beginning, basically she pretty much started it. Yeah, right. So um, in, in this, okay, so the first part says, and I'll put a link in the description. It's from uh, Melty, uh, but it's referencing Deadline. Uh, she says, I can say whenever the group adds new characters to their core, it changes the dynamic. So with the reintroduction of Morgan, we're going to see the dynamic change. With Morgan now having uh, a skewed uh, violence and become uh, like a Zen warrior, uh, we'll see what kind of impact. That's what I said, Zen. <laughs> uh, we'll see what kind of impact that has on Rick as well as Deanna. Uh, and the new group that's a combination of Alexandria and our survivors. During a subsequent interview with The Hollywood Re Reporter, Hurl declared, Morgan's story will be interesting because he was clearly a homicidal maniac when we saw him in clear, and now he's transformed into someone who is able to survive, who is able to take on multiple people with his fighting staff, but he's not someone who really wants to have to kill anyone. When he encounters Rick, it looks to him like Rick just killed another human being in cold blood execution style. Uh, there could be some interesting encounters given how their roles have reversed. So, uh, and then it goes on to say, last week, uh, Scott M. Gimble hinted uh, at what's in store uh, when The Walking Dead Season 6 premiere, uh, premieres later this year, promising that things were going to get big, loud, and scary. Uh, yeah, well, they always are. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the article. So I wanted to go ahead and get my thoughts on that from uh, for Rohan and send that to me. Uh, also, I've heard Scott Gimble say that the show reinvents itself every eight episodes, which he said a few times in recent interviews and behind the scenes and stuff like that this season. I don't recall him ever saying it in season four or anything like that, but uh, I guess his kind of strategy is every eight episodes, the show needs to change significantly. And... Um, I think that is a good, uh, that's a good strategy for The Walking Dead for the long run because as you go through, if you look at like season two, for example, it does change from the first half to the second half, I would say, yeah. Um, but, you know, there are certain times in the series, like season three, for example, where you have an arc that goes all the way through and it doesn't really change that much in the first half to the second half. It's basically prison versus the governor, even though it starts. But if you look at when Gimple takes over, which is season four, the first eight and then the second eight, you know, the first eight, totally different, second eight, completely different because prison's gone now. And then season five, again, you, uh, yeah, uh, Terminus and that, and then the second half of it, totally different with Alexandra. So I, I get kind of what he's saying with that. I do like that kind of idea that it's always going to be adjusting. It's always going to be changing, and uh, there's going to be new dynamics, new character concentration. And obviously, um, you know, uh, Morgan and Rick are going to be probably our main, you know, our main core for at least the first eight, and then we'll see what the second eight bring. It's almost like you get 
two half seasons with The Walking Dead. Uh, according to how Gimple does it, you get like, even though it's season five, you get like the first half and the second half, and the two halves are quite a bit different a lot of times. Uh, they feel different, different locations, different things happening. So really cool stuff. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to see you know how how Morgan and Rick kind of work things out and how they kind of talk to each other. I wonder if uh, you know Morgan will ask Rick what happened. Rick will explain that they ran into some cannibals that tried to eat them, and maybe Morgan will be able to understand or or at least try to kind of bring him back a bit since it seemed that Morgan was too far gone. Now it seemed Rick is. Can they come back? Do they get to come back? Good stuff. I like it a lot. So great stuff. That's pretty much all I got to say for that one. Um, sorry, Rohan, that's about as much detail as I can go into. I mean, I'm excited and I expect to see the first eight, you know, concentrate heavily on the two of them and also probably the Wolves with uh, maybe the uh, the midseason finale, as I've talked about, hopefully being the, um, you know, the no, no way out and then second half kind of being that and then what happens afterwards and, and how they continue to live on after. Um Cool, man. So thanks for the uh, the comment. That's that's my answer to yours. Um, got a question again about uh, <laughs> uh, this one. I was going to save for a different video, but I guess I'll just get it out of the way now, and I won't save it for a video. Somebody asked, do I think we'll ever see Morales again? And we've talked about this in Q&A, so I don't want to repeat. No, I don't think so. At this point, I don't think we're ever going to see the character again in the regular Walking Dead. You know, I think there might be even more chance we see him in the spinoff, but I would say overall... Probably no, probably never. I don't think we'll ever see him again. Uh, yeah, I just don't think so. I think if we were going to, we would have already seen him in season five. So I think at this point, I think that's it. You know, Morgan is that character that came back from the beginning. But I think Morales and his family, odds are they're dead. I don't think it makes sense that they'd be surviving at this point. Even though he, the actor did say not dead, but I think he, I think he is. Anyway. Those are just my thoughts. So I uh, wanted to put that in there in the video just for you guys because I've got a few questions like that. And I just wanted to finally, that's the last time I'll talk about it. I won't address it again unless we actually do see him. You know, going forward, I'm pretty sure he's gone for good. We we'll probably won't see the character ever again. Um, okay, so next one's from Legend Lou. And he says, hey, Trev, uh, who do you think will be the next major death in the Walking Dead TV show or comics? So that's a really tough question. With TV show, I'd probably go with uh, maybe either Nicholas. I think Nicholas is, is probably a, a safe bet for who's going to be killed off next. I think he will be. Um, let's see who else. From If you mean from like the survivors, I don't think we're going to see any survivor deaths anytime soon. You know, you could be looking at maybe somebody like Glenn or, you know, I hope not Carol, but, you know, somebody like that or maybe Morgan. But hopefully with Morgan, we at least get half a season out of it before they even think of killing him off. That's what I'm hoping anyway, but we'll have to see. But who knows how long he's going to last in the show anyway. Uh, for the comics, uh, and that's a tough one. I'd have to go into, you know, like reading and looking at, uh, at what I think at who would be next. Um, yeah, I'd have to look into that one quite a bit. So I'll leave, I'll leave that one for comics. Um, next one's from Mike D, and he says, Who's the better duo, Rick and Shane or Rick and Daryl? Uh, yeah, definitely Rick and Daryl, I would say, for sure. I mean, Rick and Shane didn't get along. <laughs> they were fighting for... Uh, they were fighting for control. They were fighting for leadership. And, uh, yeah, it just wouldn't have worked between the two of them. There's just There's just no way, so... And we'll do a couple more. Next one is from Edison and or Eddie's son, whichever. I'm not sure. <laughs> he says, uh, hey, Trev, uh, what do you think is going to happen with Enid in season six? Do you think she's the new Sophia? And I would say, well, kind of, yeah. I think she kind of is in a way. And we're already starting to see maybe the, the, the start of a possible, you know, little childhood relationship between her and Carl. But we'll have to see how it goes. And I don't think it's going to be anything uh, you know, soon. I think it's kind of going to be kind of started, but then left, and then maybe in a few seasons or something, we'll see the two of them get together or something. That said, Carl is aging a lot faster in the TV series than he did in the comic book series, so I can see if they're kind of uh, kind of speeding up his story arc because of the fact that Chandler Riggs is growing up so quickly, right? It makes a lot of sense. So that's what I think uh, with him. So um, I think we'll see the start of something in season six, and then we'll see it kind of uh, stop for a while. Um, but, you know, the, the drama's always there. You have 16 episodes, and you need to kind of fill them out with some really great stuff that The Walking Dead does. So we could see something with that, too. Yeah, I do think so. I think that makes sense also. Um, next one's from Brittany uh, Ghost, and she says, Hey, Trev, I have a video suggestion for you. Can you do a top 10 for the best, goriest walkers we've seen on the show? Keep up the great videos. So top 10 best zombies in The Walking Dead. Uh, yeah, I could update that. I will add that to the list right now, um, and that's one I could do again 
things. I've done in the past before, but that was a lot of seasons ago. We've had a lot of new zombies. And uh, yeah, so I, I could do that as well. Next one's from Joshua Young Blutt. And he says, uh, hey, Trav, quick Q&A question. Have you seen Boondock Saints? If not, dude, you have to see them. My favorite films of all time. Uh, these are the movies that um, Norman Reedus was in. He's been in a lot of movies, but these are probably his two biggest movies or his biggest work prior to The Walking Dead. I think there's two of them, I'm pretty sure. But I've seen the first one. I haven't seen the second one. And the first one is a lot of fun, like quite a bit of fun. Um, I do enjoy it quite a bit. Yeah, Boondock Saints is really, really fun. Um, and Norman Reedus is awesome in it. So I'm looking forward to seeing his new movies this uh, this summer. There's uh, Air that's coming out, right? I think I think it's called Air. Uh, there was a trailer for it. I reviewed it last year. Uh, pretty sure Air, yeah. And uh, Triple Nine with uh, Aaron Paul, which should be really cool considering you know he was in Breaking Bad and, and, and Norman Reedus is in The Walking Dead. So that should be fun. So we'll see how it goes. And I am, I am excited. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. Um, uh, to either, well, I'm excited to see his new movies. But Boondock Saints, I could watch the second one. I do like the first one a lot. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite movies ever, but it's it's really fun. That's for sure. It's a really fun movie. And uh, next one, let's see. Okay. Uh, yeah, this will be the last one. This is from Lisa Basco. And uh, she says, hey, Trev, uh, my daughter and I love watching your videos and are big Walking Dead fans. Last year for her 13th birthday, we got her tickets to Walker Stalker Con in Atlanta along with a photo op with Chandler Riggs. Uh, it was so much fun meeting so many of the cast members. And since the show was filmed in Atlanta, we got to see where several of the episodes were filmed and even got to visit Woodbury in Sonoya. Um, my daughter completely expected to see you there and was so disappointed that you weren't. Was just wondering if you had ever thought about being a guest at any of the Walker Stalker cons. Thanks a lot. I feel so bad. <laughs> uh, sorry, Lisa. I'm from Canada. And uh, yeah, it would be I'd have to fly in. I'd have to like book a couple weeks off work and just go to do that. And um, it's, uh, it's something that I, I probably would want. Yeah, I'd like to do that at some point in time eventually. You know, go to some cons and stuff. If, if I see anybody there that knows about the channel or watches the channel, any subscribers, that'd be really cool to meet and hang out with you guys. I'd love to. It's just that, uh, you know, it's, it's hard for me because I'm always working all the time. And I can't always get that much time off work. I'm really, really busy with work and everything. So, uh, yeah, but, you know, one day, eventually, hopefully, um, see how things turn out. I'll get to at least a Comic Con or a Walker Stalker Con or something. That'd be cool. I'd also, I'm also kind of jealous that you got to see, uh, Wood, you got to visit Woodbury uh, or just some of the locations. I love to do that, man. I'd love to see, like, I'd love to go and just see some of the sets and see some of the, the places where they film in that because. You know, I've analyzed them so much, so many times. I've watched the episodes so many times. And I know you, a lot of you guys have, too. Some of you maybe have never got to see them. Some of you might have. Um, you know, really cool. I mean, I'd love to see that, man. It's just based on my location, it'd be, it'd be really hard to. I'd have to make a whole, like, year vacation out of it. Like, this is my vacation for the year, you know. Um, and, you know, do that. And right now I book vacation time off when The Walking Dead's on, usually, so I can make a lot of videos with you guys and hang out with you guys. Uh, but in the future, you know, hopefully one day I'll be able to do that. So, uh, But if I am going to any cons, I will let you guys know ahead of time for sure. Like if, I, if I'm going to go to one, I will put it in like 10 videos beforehand so you guys know to look for me and, uh, you know, say what's up if, if you see me at a con. Which, it would be really cool. I'd love, to, I'd love to do that with at least a few people if they're going, that kind of thing. Just hang out or whatever. Talk with you guys. It'd be awesome. Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys thought about all these different questions. And uh, you can put your answers uh, below. If any of you have ever actually seen any of the Walking Dead locations and stuff, write it below. I'd love to hear in different comments what you got to see, what you went to and that. And if you've met anybody. I've actually never been able to meet anybody from the show. Um, I'd like to meet some of them. So that would be cool. Even just to go get an autograph or something would be really, really cool. Anyway. Anyway, um, let me know what you guys think about all of that. And uh, if you like the video, please sum it up below. If you want to help support the channel, please share it. Please favorite it. If you're new and you want to subscribe, bottom left to subscribe. That's it for this q and I'll see you guys for the next one pretty soon. As soon as I can get it done for you guys. It may not be tomorrow, but as soon as I can. As always, it's Trav saying peace. See you guys later.